the growth of consciousness, all, for the most part, happens through um, some form of trauma, you know. And so, um, so when the split off uh, or the dissociated aspects um, are um, more unknown to to our sense of identity, that's when things get really interesting. Okay. Um, whether, you know, you know, I have, uh, somebody in my practice who had a part of herself living in a cave, uh, living in a cave. Um, that's the way it was expressed. The deepest part of her was, was buried, right? For most of her life. And then she reconnected with that part and... Um, and turns out to have a very alive a kundalini process um, and is uh, evolving into a healer. So um, I see amazing things happen when, when people have experienced trauma and that that experience has such non-ordinary or an altered state component to it that I am saying that is the bridge between transpersonal and, and mainstream psychology. We just have not known how to work with dissociation. We have named it and we have um, we've sort of uh, vilified it. <laughs> we've demonized or we've We've um, um, pathologized it to the to the point where we can no longer believe or recognize that the symptom itself has uh, the essence of healing within it, and that symptoms themselves are meaningful. So, so I end up working with these dissociated uh, aspects of individuals these states of consciousness that are called non-ordinary and bring them back or integrate them and bring back the gifts, uh, um, the, the seemingly mentally ill become the modern shamans and the healers of, of today. When you're in a traumatic experience, that the that's when the ability to dissociate or the ability to enter into altered states uh, uh, is facilitated, okay? And once you have that ability to tune into uh, uh, aspects of reality that other people um, do not so readily notice, when you have that, that ability to tune into that, um, that, that can make for for growth of the, the consciousness, um, growth of the personality, and, and make for the patterning that we are so desperately seeking now as we move through this death process. Okay, so what I see in the collective, I, you know, I'm, I've already seen in my in individuals in my practice, and that's why I feel so compelled to speak about this. Um, because we need to find our way and to know that this is um, ultimately a process that we, each one of us, have, have negotiated at some time by being born. Okay. And, for, and for, that, uh, for that information, or for that learning, uh, one should really look at the work of Stanislav Grof. Okay, so if you read about the four stages of birth, you can get a sense or a perspective of what you're going through, what the collective is going through, and um, how to uh, negotiate that passage to uh, wholeness.